Hey, what is up guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the accelerator pedal on the 7th gen Nissan Maxima. On the 8th gen, it's very similar. Any other vehicle that is the same exact procedure, I'll have it linked in the description like always. So I'll be replacing mine. If you're wondering how much this costs, it's an OEM one. It's only $35 at Nissan. At the tax, it came out to 38 39 dollars and nine cent so part number is one eight zero zero two nine h a zero b so all you're going to need is a 10 mil on the eighth gen i believe it's two nuts and then it pops right off on the seventh gen i believe it's three if i'm not mistaken well we're gonna open a new one anyway so get a little handy dandy knife and cut the spit. I got I got more blades for this. I believe the seven gun is three. Right. I'll open another package. Uh, so yeah, so it's three nuts you're gonna have to take out. So the accelerator pedals like this. So for visual, it's one right here at the bottom, one on the back of the throttle position, well, pedal position sensor, and then one up front. And then of course the connector right there. So we're gonna set this down. So I was right. So. I'm gonna get my tripod, set you down, and then we're going to begin. All right, so I got you set to the side. Make sure this is turned the right direction. So we're going to begin. So all I'm doing is removing the nuts that secure it. That's one. And then one behind the pedal. I can barely see it, so I'm just feeling for it. Plus a little tight area, at least for me. I'm kind of a big person in this little confined space. I think I broke it loose. Oops, let me unlock the camera. Yeah, I did. Okay, that's the second one. And then... How can I get the top one? There is the top one. Let me look at the pedal. Alright, so it's right on the back side of the sensor. So. Dang, where the hell is it? Let me take this panel off. Give me a little more space. All right, there it is. Might need a longer 10 mil. Well, deep socket. Let's see. Um, probably the Asian got the two bolts because it's the tight location. All right, so I'm not going to, you can't use a deep socket like this because you won't be able to fit a ratchet because of the air duct right here. So, let me see if I can still reach it with, let's see. Damn, now what's the location of the boat? It's hard when you can't see what the hell you're doing. I know it's behind the sun. All right, there you go, I feel it. It's hard when you can't see what the hell you're doing. Look, I'm pulling the carpet with me. Oh, crap. Damn it, my sock is stuck on something. 
All right, let's do this. Let's disconnect this little clip style right here. Let me zoom you in. All you do is push in on this tab and then lift up. All right, let's disconnect it. So the other bolt back in is right here. All right, so let's try this again. I'm trying to get my socket in there. This air duct's really getting in the way. I wonder if I stick my socket upwards like this. Voila. All right, cracked it loose. you a better light put the holes well the studs are sticking out so that's easy to align and then the pieces that's sticking out is gonna slide into its corresponding holes as you can see well if i get y'all see so it's poking through the hole and the other one is poking through its hole as well it and then put the little three nuts back on all right that's one all right that's two and lastly, be careful. There's a oh, freak. You see my hands getting scratched up. There. Be careful sliding your hand back in here because you will possibly get cut. So, kind of be gentle while trying to get the top nut on so you ain't cutting up your hand. Let me turn this to the right direction. It's on top of the net. Alright. And lastly, I'm going to do it the same way I broke it loose. The handle is going upwards in here. And I can't see it, so you just got to feel for it with your fingers. Connect the connector. You hear it click in place. I'm sure the microphone picked that up. But that's how you replace your accelerator pedal. I'm gonna put this panel back in. So, oh, locking the light. So this piece that you see poking out slides right on, underneath this. And then for the back side, it just clips into here. So, put that back in. So, I got it in, you can see. And then just line it up to its hole, it'll click into place. On the 7th gen Nissan Max, like I said, the 8th gen is the same exact way, except we got two bolts. I believe this one's eliminated on the third, I mean, eighth gen, or it's this one. One of the two is eliminated.
But anyway, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.